Beyond's Bureau Chief in Pakistan, Anas Malik, spoke to Dr. Tariq Fazal Chaudhary, former federal minister and candidate from Islamabad from PMLN. Listen in. Yes, I have with me Dr. Tariq Fazal Chaudhary. Uh, he's a PMLN candidate from uh, Islamabad and he's been a federal, former federal minister. He's pre been pretty close to Nawaz Sharif, uh, the party leader. Let's have a word with him. Sir, uh, you're here in Islamabad. You've been seeing the voter turnout. How do you see these elections overall for the PMLN and for Pakistan? Uh, thank you very much that you came here to our election office. Uh, overall, the election was very mandatory for the mm, continuation of the democratic process in Pakistan. And so far, we think that the democracy is the only way that uh, we can prosper further and the country can move ahead. Uh, so far, election 2018 is concerned. There were a lot of, uh, uh, you can say, speculations about the election, uh, that maybe the election is delayed, delayed. Thanks God, the election happened at the very... Uh, right date and time which was announced by the Election Commission of Pakistan. Uh, today what I have seen that in Islamabad the uh, turnover was satisfactory. Uh, the voters they came out at their own. Uh, they voted as per their own choice and the law and order situation was very good in Islamabad. There were little complaints from few areas but uh, they were negligible and the administration of Islamabad took very prompt action and the things were under control. Uh, so far, so good. You think uh, by the end of today, uh, PMLN would again be emerging in, as in power just as a similar situation in what you saw in 2013? Well, uh, you have witnessed uh, most of the surveys which were done in the previous uh, uh, weeks and months. And they were not done only by the uh, some national organizations, but there were international organizations, institutions. They were also uh, doing some surveys uh, in the country about the popularity of the party and at the same time the popularity of the leadership and which party has done and performed in the previous five years. Uh, so we are lucky enough that most of the surveys were in favor of PMLN, that PMLN is still the most popular party and uh, so far as uh, the <clears throat> performance is concerned, again the PMLN was the top. So uh, considering all those facts, we believe that we will win in these elections, we will, we will again form the government and uh, PMLN will be again in power in the center and in the provinces as well. And uh, we will again uh, committed to deliver. We, we've seen a lot of clampdown on the PMLN leadership and we saw, we saw a lot of interf uh, allegations of interference as well. What is your take on that and what is PMLN's take on that? Because uh, we saw a PMLN candidate who was harassed, we saw tickets being overturned. So what is your take on that? Well, these uh, all happenings were, I think, uh, shown by the media. And uh, I leave this topic and this subject to the media, the national media, the international media. Uh, we, are, we were in an election campaign and now today we are contesting elections. Uh, I hope that all these things which were uh, narrated, which were told, which were highlighted by the media, uh, the whole nation has seen that. And uh, I think after the elections, definitely there will be discussions on this. But I will leave it here today. Uh, and with the hope that we will win, inshallah. So this election victory, if you all manage it, this is for Nawaz Sharif and to let your leader out, out, of, the, out of that Adiyala jail, right? Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, uh, the supreme leader of PMLN is me and Nawaz Sharif and uh, the most, uh, you can say, the popular vote bank of PMLN is based upon the policies of me and Nawaz Sharif. And uh, I think this time again, our slogan is that uh, Nawaz Sharif has delivered and uh, Nawaz Sharif... Uh, is in the jail but uh, still we feel that the cases against him should be tried again and then we are also in appeal against the conviction uh, which was uh, done against me and Washif. so we hope for the best a major vaccination scandal has led to massive public outrage in china china's state drug administration had put the country's leading pharmaceutical company for manufacturing low quality vaccines the Changsheng was found fabricating production records of the rabies vaccine. The police has detained 15 people, including the chairwoman of the Changsheng drug firm. Changsheng has also been slapped with a fine of over half a million dollars. The drug firm also produced substandard vaccines for department, which is a prevention against diphtheria, tetanus and whooping cough. The vaccination scandal, which has affected over 2.5 lakh infants, prompted Chinese President Xi Jinping to order a high-level probe into the matter. In the southeastern country of Laos, a dam collapse has killed 26 people and left 131 missing. Workers had noticed damage in the 
hydroelectric dam that was under construction in the Atanpur province on Sunday. The dam's fault lines eventually gave way on Monday morning, sending flash floods through six villages. Disaster relief authorities state that more than 6,000 people have been forced out of their homes. Laos is currently a hub of hydroelectricity energy situated on a Mekong River and its tributaries and the country plans to build 54 more electricity transmission lines and 16 substations. The estimated cost of the project stood to be about 1 billion US dollars. A project feasibility study was completed in November 2008. Work began in February 2013. The project was expected to go into commercial operation in 2018. The Congress has indicated that the party is willing to sacrifice the position of Prime Minister candidate and the position to keep Prime Minister Narendra Modi away from power. It stems from the realization that only Congress-led alliance will not be enough to keep BJP at bay. Which means that uh, there is a possibility that uh, the Congress will end up supporting anyone from the regional parties. Congress itself is not very strong at the moment. In 2004, it managed to form a government with the support of the left parties. This time, in absence of such outside bloc, Congress will find it difficult to stake claim to power. It remains below 150 seats. Sensing that Congress may get below 150, party has thrown open the position of the Prime Minister to BJP, opposed to BJP, which includes smaller regional parties, in order to keep out the NDA out of power. Now, Congress ended up making Komar Swami the Chief Minister of State despite it being the smallest party in Karnataka. The new position of the Congress allows state leaders to stake claim to the topmost position in the country. Both Pawar and Mamta have their respective states of Maharashtra and West Bengal but enjoy political clout cutting across the country. Mayavati is a Dalit leader limited to Uttar Pradesh, but remains the only pan-Indian face in the country. No Dalit has ever been made the Prime Minister of India. Her only problem is that she has graft cases against her, which is corruption. It is not the first time Congress would be doing so. In 1996, in order to keep BJP out of power, Congress supported United Front, which led to swearing in of H.G. Devagauda as the Prime Minister of India. He was chosen because at the time he was the least controversial and other political players like Mulayam Singh Yadav and Lalu Prasad Yadav neutralized each other.